Hi friends, I am Karthik Ravindra Karte and this is Karthik Tutorials. In this video, I am going to talk about symmetry elements in cube. What are the different types of symmetry elements present in the cube? Let us discuss one by one. First one is center of symmetry. Next comes plane of symmetry. This plane of symmetry is divided into two. One is rectangular plural, rectangular plane of symmetry and then second one is diagonal diagonal plane of symmetry and the third one the third symmetry element is axis axis of symmetry and this one is divided into three categories one is fourfold fourfold or it is also called as tetrad T T R A D tetrad axis of symmetry and the next one is threefold or triad axis of symmetry and the last one is two that is diad or twofold or diad axis of symmetry. Let us discuss it one by one. First one is center of symmetry and it is also called as point of symmetry. That is, see, let me consider a cube here. Since we are discussing the symmetry elements in cube, so let me consider a cube like this. Isn't it? See, this is the cube I consider and this is the center, of, center element from which every plane. This is the point from which every plane. The above plane, the below plane, the side plane, all are equidistance. That point is nothing but center of symmetry. That is a point from which all the planes should be equidistance. That point is nothing but center of symmetry. Let us see the center of symmetry. This is the sodium chloride structure. About this I am going to discuss in solid state chemistry. That is in solids I am going to discuss the structure of this NaCl. But now let us discuss the symmetry element present in this uh, cube. See, this is also a cube. All our length, breadth and height are same. And I am going to discuss this center of symmetry. See, this is the point. The green one at the center. I hope you see this. This is the center. Center of symmetry. Because from this green point, every plane, this plane, this plane, this plane, this plane, above plane and below plane, all are equidistant. See, same bond length is there here everywhere so this is the center of symmetry and in a cube we can have only one center of symmetry if i shift this point to any other point like this here if i shift see now all the planes are not equidistant so in a cube we can have only one center of symmetry so every cube can have only one center of symmetry and about cube let me discuss about how these cubes will be see the cube every cube cons contains six faces one two three four five six so each cube contains uh, six faces and each cube contains corners these are called corners face faces where this these the whole thing is, was the face but this Atoms are nothing but the corner atoms. This is corner of the cube. How many corners we will get in a cube? Let us count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in one cube, we can have 8 corners, 6 faces. Let us discuss about the edges. These things are called as edges. See, this is 1 edge, 2 edge, 3 edge, 4 edge. One face consists of 4 and 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, isn't it? Edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Totally we got 12 edges. You count it. We will get 12 edges. So each cube consists of 12 edges. 6 faces, 8 corners and 12 edges a cube will have. Why I discussed this because in future I am going to use it directly in a formula. So 
you need to understand get this i hope you got it if if you if you are not getting take a cube sponge and then you you can only uh, go for it you will get it see get this again i will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 totally in a cube we will have 12 edges so the first one is center of symmetry we discussed in a cube we can have only one center of symmetry that is the point from which every plane or the every face is equidistant and the next one is plane of symmetry plane of symmetry i i, I consider two one is rectangular plane of symmetry and other one is diagonal plane of symmetry let us discuss one by one see this is my cube this is the shortcut way to draw a cube like this this is the cube and here i have got center of point let me draw with different color this is the center of symmetry and i am going to cut this cube into two equal halves such that the plane should pass through this center see if i cut if i take a plane and i cut the cube such a way that this plane should pass through the center of symmetry and it should cut the cube into two equal halves i'm going to get this plane of symmetry see this is the face and this is my plane and i'm going to cut the cube from the center of face and this uh, plane should pass through the center of symmetry that is uh, center point and it should cut the cube into two equal halves see here i have got one equal halves and this is same as this isn't it so two faces has one plane of symmetry so let us count it see what happens this is also equal this is also equal and this is center of plane it is passing through two faces two faces has one plane of symmetry and i have counted in each cube we have six faces so six faces will have x plane of symmetry therefore x is equal to 6 into 1 6 divided by 2 we will get 3 so in each cube we have got three plane of symmetry so the since this is rectangular plane of symmetry i am going to consider three because my plane is like a rectangular so we have got three rectangular plane of symmetry if at this i sent the uh, this uh, axis or this plane through the face center if if the same plane is cut, if i cut the cube form its uh, diagonal or form its edges i am going to get two equal halves isn't it this is also equal of this is also equal of and this plane is also passing through the center the actual condition is the the plane or the axis everything should pass through this center of symmetry that is point symmetry so here also if i send this uh, plane through the edges i am going to get two equal halves and this plane is passing through the center so this gives me diagonal plane of symmetry see from two edges entering inside going outside from two edges i got one plane of symmetry that is two edges i got one diagonal plane of symmetry and i counted that in a cube we will have 12 edges isn't it in a cube we will have 12 edges so how many diagonal plane of symmetry 12 into 1 divided by 2 therefore y is equal to 6 therefore i got 6 diagonal plane of symmetry in total 3 plus is gives me 9 therefore 9 plane of symmetry and one center of symmetry what i got nine plane of symmetry one center of symmetry in this plane of symmetry three are rectangular plane of symmetry and six are diagonal plane of symmetry isn't it so let us discuss now about axis of symmetry in plane of symmetry i sent a plane through the cube and it should cut the cube into two equal halves but the condition is plane should pass through the center center of symmetry in the same way in axis of symmetry what i am going to do i am going to send a axis let us consider this be the axis i am going to send the axis through the cube and it should pass through the center of symmetry element that is this point and it should come out see i am going to
going to send this axis here it is passing through the center of symmetry and coming out like this isn't it see the face now you will look the face like a uh, square if I rotate it by 90 degree I am going to get the same face again if I rotate this I am going to get the same face again same face again same face so let me rub this and I, let me talk about this axis of symmetry so what happened is this was my cube this was my cube and here is my center of symmetry and this is axis of symmetry passing to two faces through the center of symmetry and I am going to rotate it by 90 degree see totally I am going to I have 360 degree divided by 90 degree I got 4 that is 4 times we see the same face see this is 1 2 3 4 in 360 degree 4 times we see the same face that is square we see like this isn't it we see like a square so this is nothing but tetrad tetrad or fourfold if four times if i rotate by 90 degree i am going to get this uh, this kind of symmetry so it is tetrad or fourfold axis of symmetry because ax axis i am going to send see i am going to send the axis through two faces two faces has got one axis like a tetrad axis of symmetry that is two faces has one axis of symmetry or one tetrad axis of symmetry and in a cube we have six faces so a times of uh, a symmetry a axis symmetry so therefore a is equal to six into one divided by two so i got three so tetrad or the fourfold axis of symmetry i got three because it is passing through the face center and through the center of point and coming out from the face and I got this thing if I want to send this axis through this point initially I sent from this here and it was coming out like this if I send this from here and it is coming out like this isn't it see your every 120 degree if I rotate you will see the same face every 120 degree if I rotate you see the same face I hope you are understanding that is now the my axis is passing diagonally like this isn't it and I am going to rotate it by 120 degree so let me write like this 360 divided by 120 I am going to get the same face so 3 so this is Try it. Try it or threefold axis of symmetry. Every 120 degree if I rotate, I am going to get the same uh, face like this. See, this is the axis. See the face now, and I am going to rotate it. I got the same face at 120 degree. Again, 120 degree, I got the same face. And again, 120 degree, I got the same face. Like this, we, at three times we will see. So this is called a triad axis of symmetry. In this, I am going to send the axis through the corners, isn't it? I was sending the axis through the corners. And in a cube, we have got eight corners. So two corners, there is one triad axis of symmetry. And in a cube, we have got eight corners. So how many axis of symmetry? Therefore, B is equal to 8 into 1 divided by 2. I am going to get for uh, triad axis of symmetry. So, therefore, I am going to get 4 triad axis of symmetry. And the next one is diode. What happens in diode is, I am going to send this axis through the cube in such a way that, see, like this I am going to send. This, is, this I sent for tetrad. Now, through the corners I sent it for uh, triad. Now, from the edge center, I am going to send the axis. It should pass through the center of symmetry and it should come out from this edge center. Like this. So, see, you can see like this. This is the edge center. This is also edge center. It is passing through the this center of symmetry. And every element should pass through the center of symmetry. Symmetry elements. See, now you are seeing like this. How? Like this, you are seeing. 
the face you are looking like this isn't it see this is the face you are seeing now see here also you can see the same face for every 180 degree i rotate now it's 90 and 90 that is 180 degree we saw the same face see now also 90 and 90 the same face we will see so that is 360 divided by 180 for every 180 rotation we are getting the same face like this so it is dyed dyed or twofold axis of symmetry dyed or the twofold axis of symmetry here i was sending the axis through the edge center right so from two edge center i was having one dyed axis of symmetry but we know that in a cube we have got 12 edges so 12 edges how many dyed axis of symmetry so 12 into 1 divided by 2 c is equal to 6 6 dyed axis of symmetry in total the axis of symmetry will be 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 3 13 so 13 are the axis of symmetry so we discussed everything there is one center of symmetry and plane of symmetry we got 3 plus 6 total 9 plane of symmetry and uh, total axis of symmetry we got 13 so total symmetry elements in a cube is nothing but one form center of symmetry let me rub and write here one form center of symmetry and 9 form plane of symmetry and 13 form axis of symmetry therefore 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 13 23 so total we have got 23 symmetry elements in a cube thank you